the studio furniture movement is still alive nearly eight decades after it was born in the U.S. is not surprising. The exponents of the movement propose alternative ways to produce modern design by utilizing hand craftsmanship when the entire world was captured by machine age aesthetics and mass production. I was thrilled to hear the Modern, a designs gallery specializing in studio furniture, is opening the first overview show of designer craftsman David Ebner, one of the most ambitious and accomplished figures of the movement today. It was at Modern Gallery that I was first introduced to Ebner's work by its founder, Bob Eibel, whose commitment to promoting, preserving, and disseminating the knowledge on studio furniture movement I admire. The show, which coincides with the publication David Ebner's Studio Furniture by Nancy Schiffer, covers the total scope of his life's work from pieces creating in his early days as a student at the legendary School of American Craftsmen at the Rochester Institute of Technology in the mid-60s to his current work. It offers a great opportunity to understand the craft, aspirations, and vision of one of the more intriguing figures in American contemporary design. Ebner came to be nationally known in 1975 when his work was selected for the Renwick Gallery at the Smithsonian Institute's National Gallery of Fine Art. He has since made his name with sculptural furniture and functional objects of personal vocabularies skillfully crafted in the finest woods. So prolific Ebner's work has become that it is a part of numerous museum collections across the country. He brings an unconventional approach to design. While most designers are typically occupied with seeking, formulating, and perfecting a signature style, what informs Ebner's agenda is exactly the opposite. Early on, he told me, I started with the idea that I didn't want to be known for one particular style. To him, evolution means changing and shifting directions, creating in the large lexicon of forms. Yet, the way he is giving birth to poetic furniture has remained more or less the same, a process that begins with drawing on napkins and ends with final pieces crafted in wood. One change which is mostly apparent in Ebner's work is a transformation of his sources of inspiration. While his early pieces were informed and inspired by such historical period styles as American colonial, Japanese, and Chinese furniture, his current work is mainly inspired by abstract ideas without such references. His furniture today reflect the intuitive thinking of mature craftsmen, of a designer who carries five decades of experience. With over 60 pieces of furniture and objects, the show comes to explore all that informs, provokes, and stimulates Ebner's creative discipline. His commitment, skills, and energy place him in the top of a prestigious list of master craftsman designers such as Wendell Castle, George Nakashima, and Wharton Escherich, whose genuine furniture and craftsmanship has changed the way we look at design. <laughs> 